Hi, this is a quick follow-up video from November of 2018 on my quarter inch by 48 hydraulic shear. Uh, finally got it painted and had a quick modification I wanted to add to the original video. Uh, the pipe down there at the bottom uh, is uh, 3 inch schedule 80 and after doing a couple test cuts with it I noticed that it was flexing a little bit when it got a load on it so I ended up putting if you can kind of see down in here from the end uh, ended up putting a solid shaft in it so that basically is now about three and a half inches uh, solid steel instead of a piece of pipe and there's no more flex no more anything to it uh, got painted everything else has stayed the same got it situated got it leveled there's my uh, scrap metal tray on the back and I was going to give you a quick video of my little Abner shear and then also as you can see here is my little Abner press brake uh, the shear here is only a couple months old and this is January 2019 and the um, the press brake here is actually from 2004 so I've had it 15 years now both of them are homemade uh, built both of them on this Omax water jet cutting table sitting over here uh, both of them constructed out of the same material more or less it's uh, 1 inch by 12 inch uh, steel flat bar um, if you can see this this is a piece of 12 inch 6 inch and another piece of 12 inch down here on the bottom same thing with uh, 12 inch 12 inch and 6 inch and that's what gives me my strength this here is a piece of 1 inch by 12 inch for the uprights We'll zoom out here a little bit. Uh, got seven inch hydraulic cylinders on it. Uh, hydraulic motor or hydraulic pump. Uh, three phase, five horsepower um, electric motor. Runs 3450. Uh, this is basically a hundred ton press brake. Uh, works pretty. It works great actually. Uh, I'll give you a quick video here of both of them and I'll let you know up front that the the shear uh, is a lot quieter than the press brake simply because uh, I've been around this for 15 years and it is noisy I, I won't deny that so when I was building this from scratch uh, I went with a hydraulic or excuse me an electric motor that runs 1725 instead of 3450 so you don't get that whine from the hydraulic system. So I'll give you a quick demo here of both of them. There's the on switch for the, the shear. Uh, slide a piece of, we'll slide a piece of eighth inch steel in. Piece of scrap here. Here's my straight edge. You can see this, here's my hold down clamp got a hydraulic valve with a simple Ford reverse handle on it pull it forwards slices right through there come up loosen that shut it off here's my scrap piece no burr whatsoever on it. It is just as smooth as can be. Uh, here's the on on off switch for the, the press. Just take a piece of metal in here. Shut this off for a second. I have a four way die, uh, which basically, if you don't uh, aren't familiar with it, it's got four different size of V's that they put in it um, so you can uh, bend different thicknesses of material you just uh, have to set it for whatever thickness of metal you're using 
Um, got a hydraulic valve down here at the bottom uh, so that there isn't any uh, like electronics or anything like that. Push it forwards, it goes one way, down goes the other way. Pretty simple. Bends a perfect 90 every time. Uh, that's about all. Thanks for watching.